business has in life, you have only one chance to make a good impression. And your business card is your first impression when making that all-important call, whether it's sales or service. Do me a favor. Take your business card out of your wallet, your purse, or pick that one up that's sitting on your desk. How does it look? Does it say everything you want to say about you? Is it the first impression you want to leave? The only first impression you'll ever have? If not, give D'Amico Printers a call. They'll make sure you shine in a heaven of mediocrity. Even if it's just time to update your card or stationery, add your Facebook, your Twitter, your LinkedIn address, D'Amico is the place to go for all your printing needs. For more information, call 619-649-0004. Mention the Taka San Diego and place in your order for our internet special. Hey, guess what? We're back. We are back. You want to tell the listening and viewing audience where we are today? We're at the Opera Cafe downtown. Pretty cool, huh? Isn't it a cool space? Yeah, it is. Yeah, very uh, rustic. You're kind of looking at the uh, the surroundings here, but look, we have uh, paintings on the wall and everything. Yeah. Uh, we have them cooking the food right out in the front of us. The food smells delicious. So if you like, that. you know, if you don't want to sit inside, you can always sit outside. And uh, it's a very nice place that you picked out for yeah, us. Yeah, thank usually you. Usually the places we, we pick out our dumps, but this place is pretty nice. <laughs> so uh, you have a gentleman sitting next to you. Yes. Would you like to go ahead and can you smell that food? It does. It smells yeah. good. I'm a little distracted. Yeah, I'm telling yeah, you. Would stay. you like to introduce? Yeah, so gentleman? sitting next to me is uh, Fred Sweet. Oh, you might, might want to try that again. They're throwing <laughs> stuff at us. <laughs> They don't like what we're saying. Um, Fred Sweet is the producer of the La Jolla Fashion Film Festival. Fred Welcome Sweet, did you say? Fred yep. Sweet? Thank you for having As me. As in, like, candy sweet? As in delicious sweet. Fantastic. Right. Fred, it's very nice to have you on the show. Thanks a lot. Nice to be here. So tell us a little bit about the La Jolla Film Festival, how long it's been going on. And well, this is our fourth year. Okay. It was the first uh, fashion film festival in the United States and the second in the world. There's quite a few now, however, ours is by far the biggest in the world, and this year we're introducing the International Fashion Film Awards. So what exactly is a fashion film? Yeah, I was just going to ask. Well, a fashion film, when the internet um, uh, became big, uh, I would say maybe 15 years ago when it, everyone really started um, you know, using it every day and what happened was the famous uh, fashion channels or marketing channels such as Vogue, L'Officiel, all of the uh, Glamour, L, all of them, they wanted to go on the internet. And even now they have a, uh, a spread called an editorial spread of pictures that the magazine normally sponsors. That's four or five pages of pictures of clothing from different fashion lines. Mm -hmm. So when that went on the web, of course, it was able to move. So instead of having four or five pages of an editorial spread that people just look at, now it's on the internet and it's about normally three to four minutes of a short film that also features the same fashions that uh, are and were in the fashion magazine. So it's not it's not like a Hollywood film that has amazing fashion in it. It's actually a, a, a film designed to feature fashion in particular. Is yes, that, that right? yes. It, it's a worldwide uh, art movement at this point. Okay. And it, it's really being How recognized. How long are, they, are the films typically? Uh, normally continue? about uh, three to four minutes. Okay. The, the longest one we've ever shown was uh, close to a half hour, and we do have a, a fifty-eight second film in this year's uh, presentation also. And so a, a, a fashion designer will hire a team to produce 
a fashion film to highlight all of his work, and then this goes as a submission to this yeah, to your organization. Essentially, yes. Okay. It, the, the industry has grown so large that there's actually directors and production companies that are doing it on their own. Mm -hmm. They're they're commissioning their own work because they want to get the commissions from the Louis Vuittons, the Chanel's, the Gucci's, mm -hmm. and so uh, they're really being produced. Uh, from two sides, just from the creative side, uh, the directors and producers doing it, and there's also the, they're being commissioned um, by the uh, the big labels. And the most expensive one ever made was 48 million dollars for three minutes. That's right. That wow. was a three-minute film. Yes, what? with Nicole Where? Kidman for Chanel. Oh well. Yes. <laughs> she and probably took up most of that cash. <laughs> that there, every year, there's there's a few that are in the millions of dollars, but most of them are probably in the five figures. So you have a, the film festival is happening um, next week? No, uh, July 26th 20. and 27th. Okay, so a couple weeks from now, three it, weeks from now. Yeah, it's, it's, we, it's close to a month. For us, it's like tomorrow, though. Yeah, of course. You're probably yeah. upside down. Yeah. So how many films would a person plan on seeing if they attend this film festival? Well, the uh, Friday, um, all of the films uh, in, in the program this year are nominated films. So. There's 31 films in Friday night's presentation, and there's going to be 18 films in Saturday. Saturday has less because we're going to be going, uh, we're going to be giving out the awards, and we're going to be doing it Academy Awards style. So, so can we expect yeah. to see any Hollywood actors or actresses there? I mean, is uh, there, will, will Nicole the, Kidman be there? No. Uh, well, she might make a guest appearance. You never know. <laughs> <laughs> but. Uh, no, it's as the, it's the fourth year. We do have a lot of Hollywood agents mm -hmm. and uh, you know what we call Hollywood types coming down. Okay. Uh, as far as the A list, I'm afraid we're not quite big enough yet to have uh, the Angelina Jolie's show You'll up. You'll get there. Okay. So, uh, but we do have uh, some well-known directors, uh, but I mean, not really that uh, people would know offhand. Uh, What's involved in the nominating process? We have, uh, we formed uh, one of the largest uh, film festival juries ever assembled. And there was 40 people on it this year from all over the world. And the reason we have a jury that size, when uh, most film festivals have a jury of four to five people. And, uh, you know, we have 40 on ours. You just we, wanted to make it more complicated? Or? Well, no, we wanted a, a true, authentic uh, confirmation of excellence. And they're from all around the world. Uh, the, the festival is a true international event. It, from four years ago, we always geared it to, uh, to uh, worldwide. And we have, this year, we have people coming in from Moscow, Cape Town, uh, all throughout Europe, China, uh, Canada, a uh, big representation from Hollywood. So it's really exciting to have all these people come in and form a community. And now that it's in its fourth year, we've had people coming back for three years, and it's just really uh, a, a very wonderful feeling seeing everyone come together. So I, I read that uh, you have over 50 countries and hundreds of media outlets represented. Right, um, yes. And so the, how, who's, who would have fun in this event? Like, let's say that I'm not a fashion designer or a film producer or even a, or a model. I mean, could I go to this festival as a as a layman, as a as a somebody who just likes fashion and, yeah, and, and enjoy myself? Yeah, absolutely. Well, uh, it, it, it's it's very analogous to New York Fashion Week, where. Okay. The, the, the New York Fashion Week is one of the four fashion weeks in the world that, that really count. I think at last count there was about 6,000 fashion weeks around the world. There's, there's one in Outer Mongolia, if you can believe that, but um, <laughs> okay. for real. And, but I'm just saying, so um, New York Fashion Week, it attracts fashionistas, it attracts all the excitement, and for the reason is that there's a real industry base to it, and we have uh, the film uh, makers flying in from around the world to interact, network, make deals, mm -hmm. and, and win awards. So uh, absolutely anyone who's interested in uh, something like New York Fashion Week would, would love this. That We have a big red carpet twice uh, both evenings. Okay. And there's, there's so after is that, parties. is that where the kind of thing where people ask you, like, what are you wearing? Who are you wearing? Absolutely. Yes, Can I ask you do. who you're wearing? 
you uh, wearing anybody? No, yeah, I'm waiting for uh, someone to supply my outfit. <laughs> I'm <laughs> telling too. Joan Rivers, this is very bad, you know. And <laughs> but I hear the fashion police are going to be there. Oh, great. I'm not going there. Who's, who's dominating in the fashion world now? What country? Is it the USA or is it France or is it Italy? Uh, d dominating in the fashion say? world. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, that, uh, of course, um, you know, Chanel is based in Paris, and and, and uh, you know, uh, Louis Vuitton, uh, Gucci. I mean, they're it, it, all of the. Um, I would say the at the highest end, uh, France probably has it. You know, Hermes. Um, so, uh, you know, I as far as dollar volume, of course, it's probably the United States. But mm. if you're talking uh, iconic brands, you you really can't beat France. That's what I was talking. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. That's yeah, interesting. Yeah. Th this year we're gonna have a uh, uh, the the world's first uh, Karl Lagerfeld uh, fashion film retrospective. Oh. And we're really proud of it that um, Chanel headquarters in Paris has provided us with films all three years so far and this year, our fourth year. And uh, it's going to be a community-based showing, which means the tickets are complimentary. And that's going to be Friday in the main 500-seat okay. theater at the museum. Oh, well, tell us where this is taking place, actually. Yeah, it's at the that. Museum of Modern Art. It's the beautiful seaside museum right there on Prospect in La Jolla. Mm -hmm. Museum of Contemporary Art? Yes, yeah, I'm sorry. It's the Museum of Contemporary Art. M-C-A-S-D. Yeah, exactly. Dot org, I believe, is their website. And yes. what's your website? It's very easy. It's just L-J-F-F-F. -F. So that's for the La Jolla Fashion Film Festival. Yes. It's right there on the screen. It's right here. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and you want to hold so it up a little bit longer? Because it's... Here. There we go. There. Can I go like this? Uh, well, you don't want to do that. Just, okay. Right there. There you go. Perfect. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, now, so we have that that event on Friday, which is free to the community. Mm -hmm. And um, how much are tickets if we want to just get yeah, into the festival and schmooze? Yeah, I guess that's it, what you do, schmooze. It, it's $50 uh, each night or 75 if someone wants to come uh, get two tickets for both nights. Okay. Which one is the coolest night? Tell me the truth. No, it, they're both absolutely fabulous. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I would say you've got to come to both. I mean, one, uh, the it's actually um, technically sold out right now. Oh. Um, however, uh, we're just like the airlines, I'm afraid. Uh, Standby is Every okay. year, 20% of our guest list uh, doesn't show up. So mm -hmm. we do overbook it by about 100 people. Okay. So um, we're going to take a quick break first and be right back for just a few minutes. And um, we'll be back with this gentleman here, and then we're going to bring in uh, the co-owner of the restaurant. Fantastic. So I'm excited about that. So we're going to take a break. This okay. is Johnny. And this is Susanna. With the talk. Of San Diego. Center in beautiful Mission Valley. When it's time to relax and have fun with friends, family, or co workers, Randy Jones All American Sports Grill. You'll have an All American great time. Johnny Angel. Hey, Susanna. <laughs> Hi. Guess what? You're an angel, Johnny. You're playing our song, aren't they? <laughs> hey, do you know what, about Aquanet? No, I, I actually the, don't. Yeah, I don't. Not the, not the you don't mean the they, spray like in the 80s? No, that's not that what I was like talking about. Yeah, thing. a lot of people thought that's what I was talking about too, but it's really not if I can get this out of my I suitcase really here. Oh, now you ready to catch? You ready to catch? You ready to catch? Ah! There you go. I don't know if this is going to be fashion friendly. Oh, sure it is. That's at the Fashion Awards oh, this year. This. This yeah, check that out. Hold that up to the uh, thing. You see that? It says AQAV. You know what AQAV is? Is there like a stain on there or no? Is that a, stat a shadow? No, that was the shadow. No, it's A Q A V, and you see what it says? Aquatic aviation. aviation. You know what that means, right? Aquatic aviation. All right, so you're flying through, flying through, the, through the water. water. Exactly. Right. You see that thing? It looks like a, a skateboard. Is that what that is? Well, it looks like a skateboard, okay. but it's not a skateboard. There's a hose coming out of the bottom, and it shoots you up in the air with the water. Oh, seriously? So yeah, flying around. Well, look, see on the screen where they're going up and down there. Yeah. Oh yeah, right. That's that that that's what you would be doing. 
<laughs> if you chose to do that. That guy in a little coat. What's that all about? So, hey, check that out. That's uh, AQ, uh, Aqua, AQ, what's it? AQAV? AQAV. Net? Dot net. Aquatic Aviation. Dot net. And they're down on uh, Harbor Island. Check them out. And, uh, <laughs> it's, that sounds oh. interesting. Is this like the whole wave of the future thing? Like the, huh, I get it. The wave of the future. Like yeah, yeah clever. Uh, yeah, so check them out. Go online, aqav.net. Oh. Tell them that Johnny with the talk of San Diego sent you, and they'll, they'll, they'll hook you up. Okay. Yeah, let's go. Ask for my buddy Andrew. He's from Australia. He's from Andrew. Australia. I know he's a Brit. Uh, he's a Brit, but still, he's a nice guy. Well, anyway, but that's not the reason we called, is it? No. no. We have a gentleman sitting next to you, and uh, he's with the uh, La Jolla Theater with the Fashion Police Theater <laughs> people. <laughs> and, uh, that was pretty, so close. Pretty good save, huh? <laughs> close enough, yeah. Anyway. He was the lo- he's with the La Jolla Fashion Film Festival. Exactly. Yeah, which right. is taking place at the Museum of Contemporary Art. Now, do you point out people on the street? Oh, God, stripes and plaids. Are you plaids? that guy like, oh, you like why is he wearing that? Uh, but uh, not publicly. Well, how did I do today? Huh? I tried to Look be fashiony today. Strap, uh, cross strap. Your, your oh, seriously. Other one. Oh, great. There no, you no. go. Oh, see, that's there tacky. You go. No, uh-huh. no, no, no. Bra straps are in. Our bra- oh, a, I heard. No, I meant they're, they're an accessory. I'm now. hearing the bra straps are in now. That's what I was saying. The other one wasn't showing. <laughs> yeah, you, you want to cover it up. you got to keep with the trends, girl. I'm trying. I it know. goes so fast. I, I can't know. Even so you're making know. a note. Bra strap out. Bra strap out. There you go. And then in again. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so we so we were talking about the La Jolla Fashion Film Festival. We've got some uh, percussionists back there, there uh, in the restaurant doing a little something. <laughs> Let's go. Hey, hey. I hey, feel hey, like hey, I should hey. be rapping to it. <laughs> I feel like I should be in a ball game. <laughs> Let's go. Good. Um, okay, well, tell us what is the not to be missed event during the festival. Uh, what is the one thing that, you know, if you've never been to anything like this before, well, I would, it, it's this. definitely the two red carpet events, and okay. they, they start at 6 o'clock each evening, and okay. they go till 7.30. And, and this it, is the time to wear your most fabulous whatever. Yes, and, and uh, remember, anyone can come to that. It's mm-hmm. a public, uh, you know, open event. They don't have is to buy a ticket. Involved? What's food? that? Is there food involved? Uh, yes, there is going to be food. Ooh, cool. Uh-huh. Mark us down. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. And there's going to be actually I think even some alcoholic uh, beverages. So. Even some alcoholic beverages. I heard. Yes. There you go. So yes. double mark us down. You drank in the in the proper uh, you know way but they, they we you have to have do that. the thing. Right. Yeah. I do the thing all the time. Um, okay so we've got the La Jolla Fashion Film Festival uh, running July 26th and 27th. And 27th that's a Friday and Saturday. We want to make sure we head out there and um, we don't have a whole lot of time uh, left with you today. Do you have anything else that you want to pitch that you want to make sure that we get out there to our viewers? Or tell others how yes. they can get involved? Yeah, if they go to the website, which is ljfff.com, they'll, they'll get a good idea of all the activities. There's a lot of activities going on. We have seminars, director panels, uh, and most of it they can get in without any tickets. Uh, some of it, of course, is a little bit more limited because we have people flying in from around the world. So. Some of those seminars um, are limited, but it's a very interesting event for people that are uh, uh, concerned with what's happening in fashion as far as it being presented on the internet. And uh, It's the, probably good for people who want to be fashion designers, too, just to get ideas or to yes, mingle absolutely. and mix. I know a few people that are... Um, Actually, one gal who's involved, she, she does the Dos Caras swimwear mm-hmm. line. I think I saw her logo on there anyway. Maybe I imagined it. But an uh, excellent fashion designer, and I'm sure yeah. she'll be there. It's a very interesting community uh, that's formed around fashion films because mm-hmm. it's, it's very diverse, and it has all sorts of people from the different professions. You have stylists, makeup artists, camera people, uh, you know, wardrobe. So, uh, it, it has a, it's like something for everyone. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for being here today. It was really a pleasure uh, Thanks a lot. meeting you. If we hadn't already met in another life, I think we, we thought that Probably. Was I'm sure you did, yes. Yeah, we're, we're going to bring on uh, Peter Morales, actually. Uh, he's the co-owner and manager of the Opera Cafe. And, um, Does he need to be waved down? Yeah. 
he needs a little wave now. Is he on his way? Yeah. Um, thank you so much for being here. Yeah, my pleasure. It looks like he's whooping something up in the... Uh, yeah, I could hear it. I know. Chopping up some onions, maybe. So, do we need to take a break? Do we need to pause? Do um, we need to... I think if we just wave him down, he'll be ready for us. I think we waved him down. Excellent. So now, uh, while he's on the way over here, I understand that you're going to be in a play. You're the star of the play in the Heights. I'm, I wouldn't call myself the star of the show, but yeah, there's a, a wonderful musical happening at the San Diego Repertory Theater. It's called In the Heights. It's a four-time Tony Award-winning musical. What did they win the Tonys for? Uh, for, gosh, it was for best music. Uh, oh, I'm, I'm not going to know all the different variations. I think one of them was costuming. There was definitely a dam the dance. Um, but anyway, it's an excellent songbook. It's an excellent script. Um, I think one of the contributors to the script is a Pulitzer Prize winning playwright. And um, so there's a lot. It's going to be good. It's at San Diego Rep, which is sdrep.org. That's where we did the show a couple weeks ago, yeah, huh? that's right. Yeah. That's right. Is it going to be the same stage or a different stage? You're no, the main stage it'll be on the main stage Ooh, the main stage whoa cool yeah. so that'll be kind of fun and what is your role uh i play the role of daniela she's a uh, beauty shop owner and uh so it's i'll have like the big nails and the big hair and the whole new eurekan sort of <laughs> personality is this going to be a speaking role uh yeah oh yeah singing dancing, oh, singing, all the whole thing singing and dancing hi peter welcome guess what Thanks so much for joining us. We have a new guest in, in the studio. Uh, and you if you want to put on some, put there you on. go. And sure. There's an L and an R on there. And that should match up with the L and the R on your head. Yep. You're good. Good. All right. So, so take, a, take a breath. You look a little disheveled. You were bit. making some lunch back there. Find your happy place. What were you cooking there just a minute ago? Um, it's Actually, I'm making a Spanish paella for... An unrelated event. Here. For something they don't else? take out this yes. many cameras when I go on. Look at this. Got, <laughs> wow. You're kind of a big deal over there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so why don't you introduce uh, Peter to the audience? Yeah. So Peter Morales is the co-owner and manager of the Opera Cafe, and um, he wants to tell us a little bit about your award-winning uh, Tuscany to Table cuisine. What is that about? Um, basically, we have uh, we just res recently re re um, received an award from the Marco Q from Italy. Uh, what, all, what is that? Um, that's a uh, award that's granted through the Italian government for authentic Italian cuisine. Wow. Um, which only two restaurants in San Diego actually have that award. Domino's really? was one of them, right? Domino's? Uh, Domino's didn't get one. <laughs> we did. <laughs> We, What's the other? Oh, I oh. guess we shouldn't pitch the other restaurant. But so well, you're only one of two restaurants two that have restaurants. received this award. It's it's called the um, Marchio Q Seal of Authenticity. That's correct. Is that right? Exactly. That award wow. consists of uh, using 85 to 90 percent authentic Italian products. Also, uh, the servers need to be bilingual. They need to speak Italian as one the one of the main language. The chefs have to be born and raised in Italy. Um, and you know, I'm out then. The consistency. <laughs> Sorry. The consistency of the product has to be, you know, uh, uh, sealed from the Italian government. So do do they send somebody out here to test your ex to experience your restaurant to taste, taste the food? Or? They actually did. They sent uh, the, the vice counselor from Los Angeles from the Italian uh, consulate. Uh -huh. uh, they sent two people here unexpectedly to walk oh. through the restaurant. Uh, oh, so that's like a the secret, kicker right there. Yeah. Secret shopper, huh? Oh yeah, it's not a, it's you know, it's a, a very prestigious award in Italy. Outside of Italy, it's the closest thing you can come to Italian food outside of Italy. Wow. So, oh, they came and they did their inspection and you know they go all through the kitchen products. You know, seeing the labels if they're Italian now, products. Now, you had applied for the program or for the for to be reviewed, so you were yes. already sort of expecting it a little, but you just didn't know when exactly. it was happening. Right. It was and did they pop in and they, uh, uh, acknowledge themselves and say, "Hi, I'm this person," or did they just come in and have dinner? And no, when they actually they they you know they showed their credentials and said, "You know, we're from the council from the Italian." And council. everybody freaked out in the kitchen and. Had a little hard no, not really. We, you know, we did get a little nervous, but you know, when they threw, went through their inspection, they saw, you know, it's nothing that you know we've done always for many years here. Yeah. 
Um, you know, we use Italian butter, we use, you know, Italian olive oil, we use uh, Italian flour to make our bread. Um, you know, it was just one of those... Every detail. Yeah, so they go through, you know, my name says, you know, we source the, you know, the meats and the vegetables locally here. Uh, also the seafood, but you know, you know the main ingredients. The ingredients, the seasonings, we use, exactly. all of that. and the people putting them all together. That's right. correct. That's now correct. you say there are only two restaurants here in San Diego, but there are other restaurants around the country. That's correct. How many other restaurants around the country? I don't know the exact amount. But uh, probably just a handful. I would say probably, you know, if there's only two in San Diego, I would say maybe 50 in the United States at most. So you're in a pretty good uh, group. Yes, we are. Now, um, what does it uh, take that other than just Italian? Is there anything else involved in that the process? Well, yes. You know, the, the chefs have to be knowledgeable in the Italian you know, cuisine, obviously, and uh, you know they have to. The servers, like I said prior, they have to speak Italian so that you know they can communicate with the so Italian you know. customers. Right, you know, and you have to be able you to understand what this yeah. means, right? You have to be able to point the fan in the correct area yes. to put the smell of that food out there. That does oh smell really my delicious. god! Yeah, that's oh. Um, so you have a program called the Chef's Giving Table. Can you tell us about that? Yes, that's a, a table that we have, which we uh, have for the Opera Tuesdays, the Rat Pack Wednesdays, and the Songbook Mondays. Okay. And basically, it's a table that it's uh, it's the Chef's Giving Table, where the chef prepares all the dishes. There's no menu; she does it on a you know on a whim. So you you're know, gonna she, eat whatever the chef wants. Exactly. To she does okay. a. You know, she'll take you through. It's a sheet. Places. Oh, she. Yes. Well, we have our two yep. chefs is Roberto and Patricia. They're a two. husband and wife. Right. The husband uh, does all the breads, the pastas, and the desserts. He's usually here from five to about twelve in the day. Then Patricia shows up around five and does the fish, finishing touch. You know, she does the. That's what we do. We put the finishing touches and make yes. it. Yes. <laughs> and then who does the dishes? Ah, that's someone else. Oh, right. <laughs> they work that out. Yes. And how long have you been doing this restaurant? Um, here we've been here at Opera Cafe since 2008. So prior we were together for about 12, 15 years. And if somebody came in here, you have gift, gift certificates and the like? We sure do. And do you do catering? We, we do. We also have a food truck that's out and about around town. And, uh, you know, we get a lot of events for doing Katie, uh, caterings. And, you know, yeah, we do caterings. Fantastic. Well, you know, we wish we had more time, yeah. but we've got no time. Yeah. <laughs> Guess who did that song? And again, I'm telling you, guess who did oh, that guess song? Who. She, who? she right. never pays attention to me. So we're gonna. But take if you a... need some time, there's some in the kitchen. But all right, <laughs> we're we're gonna take a break, and then we're gonna come back and wrap things up. How's yeah, that sound? That's right. So this is Johnny, and this is Susanna with the talk of San Diego. American Sports Grill, conveniently located in Hazard Center in beautiful Mission Valley. When it's time to relax and have fun with friends, family, or co-workers, Randy Jones All-American Sports Grill. You'll have an all-American great time. Guess what, Susanna? Yes? This is the saddest part of the show, isn't it? Because it's the end. I know. I know. We have about um, two minutes here. Okay. This is a Canadian Sunset by Floyd Kramer. They also did a song called The Last Date. Oh, God, is it a great song. This is not a good place to do a last date. Probably a first date. Or a last date. Or a last date. <laughs> well, anyway. Hey, uh, we want to thank uh, Peter for all the wonderful food that you've uh, put out here. It is Peter, right? Yes. Fantastic. We want to thank him. The lovely food. Everybody had a ball. Yeah. We want to thank our uh, guests that we had. We yes. want to tell people who the guests were. We had a wonderful were. lineup. We had Jimmy. Um, we had yeah. Molly. We had Amber. <laughs> Angie. 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 <laughs> No, we had a really great lineup. We had some representatives from, of course, the Opera Cafe, our opera singer and, and his uh, and his uh, accordion, accordionist, accordion, um, accordionist. Luke We had uh, Luke James Love that name. Sa yeah, yeah. Jimmy Saba oh. from the San Diego Junior Theater, Angie Bunch, the executive director of Culture Shock Dance, right. and uh, Fred Sweet, the producer of the La Jolla Fashion Film Festival. Oh, you of really lined them up, huh? I did. Next That's week. That's what I do. I know, and you do it so well. Next week, we're going to be at Fly Days out in okay. Gillespie Field from 4 to 8, uh, 4 to 5.30. Cool. Come out there, get your picture taken in one of the retro planes and everything. Like that. You're going to come out, or is it radio talk? No, so I'm actually starting rehearsals. So, so you're not going to come out? Uh, I'll be... Oh, well, we'll be thinking of it. Yeah. yeah. So uh, we want to thank our buddy uh, Daniel over there on the soundboard. You're welcome. There you go. 
and uh, all of our other sponsors, uh, Sea Turtle Rescue. Mm-hmm. We got the uh, New York Buffalo Wings, Silver Spine, you know, for my back. I have a week back. Did I tell you about that? You know how long I've had it? A week back? About a week back, yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you need new jokes. Got them both. Got them both. <laughs> Hey, you know why tigers don't eat lions? Wait, never mind. Hey, Johnny. And Susanna. With the talk. Of San Diego.